I'm Dylan. I went to undergrad at the University of Colorado at Boulder. I majored in biochemical engineering and minored in biochemistry. Uh, I'm currently a second year in Dr. Russell Mumper's lab, um, and I work on protein formulations for uh, therapeutic antibodies. So Dylan, when you were looking at graduate schools, how did you select which schools you would apply to? So I used my undergraduate PI as my main resource to select graduate schools. Uh, we had had discussions over f the months leading up to the decision, uh, and he knew kind of what I was interested in and what kind of research I was looking at. And I had taken the time to compile this list and look at the things that I thought were important. And I, I remember I brought it to him and handed it to him, and he looked it over, and in 30 seconds he said, well, this is the wrong list for you. Uh, so it was at that time that he recommended that I start looking at uh, PhD programs in pharmaceutical science. Uh, so what I did is I spent a day or two looking at programs all over the country um, and, and tried to identify PIs and the research that was going on at different institutions. And quickly, my list of 12 schools that were all engineering programs turned into 12 schools that were all pharmaceutical science programs. After you were accepted to schools, what process did you use to decide what school you would attend? <laughs> so what I did is I actually built this pretty elaborate spreadsheet. And um, I use factors like the US News and World Report um, rankings, uh, the scientific vibrancy of, of the community, some of the research that was going on and how it aligned to what I was interested in doing, um, even things like you know, what I expected the quality of life to be there uh, or at that, at that campus, at that university. Um, and, and what I did is I put a weighting system on all of this and looked at it and said, okay, well, what schools are, are popping up at the top? Um, and, and pretty easily, UNC popped up at the top, and, and that made my decision clear. Why did you end up choosing UNC? How did that percolate to the top of your list? So I think it was three things. Um, we, I had the opportunity to come for a recruiting visit, and during that time, we had an opportunity to uh, meet with the faculty and walk around the research labs and kind of hang out on Franklin Street and see what Chapel Hill was all about. Um, and it was clear to me that the research labs were some of the best in the country. Um, I think on par with many biotech pharmaceutical companies. Uh, the second thing that I thought was important was the, the scientific uh, vibrancy of the community, right? So Chapel Hill has a, has a really highly ranking uh, biology department, a highly ranking chemistry department. The med school is excellent. The um, school of public health is excellent. So when I look at um, all of these other programs that were peripheral to the pharmaceutical science program, um, that was another attractive feature. I guess the last thing that I looked at was what I expected to be my quality of life here in Chapel Hill. Uh, so I'm a graduate student, and obviously I'm here to do classes and do research. But at the same time, you have to evaluate you know, what do I see my life being there um, am I going to be able to do the things that I like to enjoy outside of school? And I think Chapel Hill offered a lot. You know, Raleigh's right down the road, Durham's right down the road, the beach is two hours to the east, uh, the mountains are two hours, two and a half hours maybe to the west. Um, so the area was just perfect, and it's a, it's a small college town with a, a lot of the big town, big city amenities. And since you arrived at UNC, have there been any surprises? One of the things that I've reflected on that has been particularly interesting is, you know, during a lot of the recruiting visits, everyone talks about collaboration and how collaborative their department is. Um, and my dissertation proposal, my project that I'm working on, is, is highly collaborative. The way that I've been, you know, designing my dissertation project requires a lot of expertise from many different um, uh, departments. So I, I've, you know, had to email people and had to, had to talk to people after seminars or even kind of walking by people in the school and recognizing who they are and asked to meet with them or asked to uh, have an opportunity to explain my project and see if they were interested in being a part of it or interested in uh, helping collaborate. Um, so, so it's a really collaborative community. Um, you know, I, I emailed this one professor who was interested in working on, uh, who, I emailed this one professor who I thought would be interested in working on the project. I had the opportunity to sit down with him over a cup of coffee and after explaining the project, he, he quickly responded and, and told me that he'd be uh, elated to be on my committee. Um, and, and that was something that was really exciting for me. And uh, so what would you tell a, a prospective student uh, what, what you enjoyed most about being in the molecular pharmaceutics division? So I think 
you know, generally PhD programs in pharmaceutical sciences and, and specifically this molecular pharmaceutics program is, is unique in a number of aspects. Uh, we have really small class sizes. The faculty are, are all incredibly available and I have personal relationships uh, with, with most of them. Um, the department itself is really highly collaborative. Uh, you know, I look at my class and it's, there, there's six people that came into my class um, and everyone has a different major. So there's one BS in biology, a BS in biochemistry, um, an MS in pharmaceutical biotechnology, and then there's also three engineers. So a uh, BS in biomedical engineering, a BS in bioengineering, and then myself, which is a BS in biochemical engineering. So there's a really unique aspect of PhD programs in pharmaceutical science, and in this program in particular, uh, where it's a very interdisciplinary program. People come in from all sorts of majors and, and all sorts of backgrounds. And really the vibrancy of the classroom, uh, the breadth and robustness of the discussions in the classroom, I think aren't, are, are uh, on a level above any other. For example, if you were to go, uh, you know, look at a chemical engineering pro uh, graduate program and look at their incoming class, it'd likely be 10 chemical engineers. And you wouldn't find that in a program like this. Uh, our program is, is uniquely diverse. 